Hey guys, how to get a black thing here? Bring you anime bullshit number three. Yup, I made it three guys. I actually am working, and I like this subcategory because you know it's dope as shit to me. Because you get to just talk about the anime bullshit you go through in life, you know what I mean? And let's get in with it. You feel me? Like so, as I explained in the last few, you know, anime bullshit episodes or one of my reviews, you know, the double dose of shit. Yeah, that shit. Uh, I was talking about how I've been watching Inuyasha. And if that was the wrong video, I'm sorry. Deal with it. I don't give a fuck at the moment. So I'm watching the I'm like at 130 or 141 actually. My bad. And uh, still loving the series. You know, reminds me of my childhood memories. You know, back when I used to stay at my cousin Chakwara's house, we'd stay up and watch the Hagga show. And then the Inuyasha would come on at like you know one o'clock in the fucking morning, and we were up watching that because we were some hood ass niggas back then. But I'm loving the series, but you know how you get to that one point in the series, like literally that one point where you just sit there and like all the dope shit's happening and it's more dope shit back to back and you get to that one part where like, oh, we're back to the bullshit. If you don't know what I mean, that means you don't watch anime. And if you don't watch anime, start. I'm dead serious. Anime is dope as hell. I'm tired of people, you know, belittling that shit. But like, yeah, I fucking hate that, you know what I mean? Like, how you get to like, all the dope shit, then you go back all to like, the bullshit, like, not, it's not even, it's not filler, and it's not character development. I love character development, so that means you're about to get some dope ass characters about to come in, or you're about to discover something new about the character that you've already been fucking watching. For example, the best anime in my head, and I love this anime to death, K. Kaido Hit Me Reborn, was best for character development. Because it was all about character development. You know, because the main character started out as a bitch. Still is a bitch, but a badass bitch. Bitch, but bad, badass bitch. And then after that, can you guess? Bitch, but bad, bad, badass bitch. You got me? So it was kind of dope. And uh, he just kept becoming, like, you know, badass times, like, seven of us by now. And he was still a bitch on love. But it's all good. You know, he realized he had his responsibility. Well, it's not like that with Inuyasha, guys. My childhood, I, I slowly, like, am starting to remember how this series has some bullshit. Especially the episode when fucking Shippo does the whole heart scar. I skipped it. No, no, man, I watched it. I watched it because I remember how funny that episode was, because Inuyasha said that he screams these random ass pieces of shit ass lines before he does one scar, and you realize he never does that after the rest of the series, and he never did it before. So, what the fuck were they thinking? Alright, so, next little topic, you know. And it's anime bullshit. I know it's not anime related, but I don't give a fuck. I'ma talk about my buddy Elijah. He watches anime, but he's into the gory shit. I just should, we, me and my friend Justin it, introduced him to Dead Man Wonderland Psychopaths, which was created by the creator Kid Kayo. You already know, dope bad series. But you know how I feel about fucking Shonen AIs, which I'm about to get on to. But uh, yeah, my friend Elijah likes all the gory shit. He introduced me to Tack on Titan. Now I think it's a dope bad series. Bangs with it. I didn't think I was going to like it at first because I don't bang with horror movies. And everybody's like, oh, it's like a horror movie of anime. I'm like, are you serious? Are you sure? Sat there and watched it. Not even like the horror movie of anime. It's more like a fucking shonen AI, you know, where you expect people to fucking die. But it's not a shonen AI. It's basically just a regular shonen slash, you know, gory ass shit. It's just a lot of bloodshed. A lot of bloodshed. Like, people be getting fucking murked in that series. But back to my buddy Elijah. So... We introduced all these different animes to him. Introduced Dead, Dead Man Wonderland. He's down with it. He's banging with it. But he doesn't like how the main characters, like, you know. Like, he doesn't feel like the main characters, like, fits the place of being, like, in the gory ass anime. I agree. But he's watching Psychopaths. Finished it. Well, I believe he finished it. I hope he did. If he did, that's fucked up. But finished it. And he was like, yeah, man. Dope ass series. Yada, yada, yada. Good series. I banged with it. Thanks for showing it to me, guys. Now. Let's get into the Shonen AI part. I try to explain to him it's gonna be some bullshit, you know, that happens. If you don't know what Shonen AI is, all right, I'm gonna start with basic Shonen. Shonen is about, you know, a main character that happens to be a boy. Yeah, that's why it's Shonen. And he goes on like this wild adventure or whatever the fuck he else he could possibly do. Or like, you know, like his daily life or shit. You know what he goes through in his daily life. Now, Shonen AI is the same thing, just in regular shonen, the main character does not get killed off. None of the main characters get killed off. In shonen AIs, the main characters are killed off. It's realistic as fuck. They can die out of nowhere. Like, out of nowhere, your favorite fucking character you just start to love, 
like, oh, he's the coolest one, he has the best abilities, boom, next episode, he's fucking gone, you don't know what to deal with it, like, you're, you, you want to cry? It's not me exactly, you know, I'm just, I'm not the crying type. I'm more of the type that I say my favorite catchphrase, especially at 2 o'clock in the morning where you're sitting there watching a series that happens to be a Shonen AI and your mom and your brother just sleep across the hall and you scream fucking Shonen AIs. Yeah, I'm not that person. I don't cry about it, but I had a couple buddies that did. But in the uh, series Psychopath, I forgot the guy's name, you know, orange hair dude, funny as hell, backed all the bitches, you know, gets killed off with some dumb shit. I figured it was going to happen, especially since I realized that other characters got killed off before. But, I figured, you know, it was kind of some bullshit though. Like, why do you kill the guy that bags the most bitches? Just all the funny catchphrases. And, what else did he do? Oh, did I say bag bitches? Yeah, like, let's just fucking kill this guy off. And apparently, the youngest out of all of them, who has this fucking denominator, which is a weapon that has this right as a prisoner to go out and, you know, like, protect whatever the fuck he plans on protecting. And... You know, he actually did some stupid ass shit or fucked up ass shit to get his ass in that situation where now he's a prisoner, but you know, he's saving the world or some shit, I guess. But yeah, Shonen AIs are definitely not my favorite. Like, I'll watch them, but sometimes I just like want to state that Shonen AIs do fuck you over. And they definitely do. And I don't like that. Because, like, why should I be fucked over during a Shonen AI when all I want to do is watch this anime, watch a person progress, and not get fucked over? You know what I mean? It's like watching Pokemon. He got fucked over multiple times. Ash been fucked over multiple Ash, oh my god. Pokemon should be a shonen fucking AI. Let's think about it. Pikachu gets killed in like every other new trainer episode. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I mean like, oh, let's go do this gym battle. And oh, we lost. And let's get a round two. And a round two, we barely fucking won. But hey, let's get hyped because I have a badge. But yeah, in round one of the fucking gym battles, Ash get murked, okay? People don't understand that? Like, Ash gets his ass handed to him. Pikachu's bloody. Well, he should be bloody, but you know. Oh, kids watch the cartoon, play the card game, and buy the video games. True. You're absolutely right. But if they turn Pokemon into a real Shonen AI, do you think, don't you think, they would get more love? I think they would. If you had it that Ash was the main character, had a Pikachu, and next thing you know, five episodes later, Pikachu gets murked. Murked, get killed off, basically. Oh, now I have to find a new Pokemon, a new Pokemon partner, and have him go through that whole sorrow of loss for a buddy. Don't you think that would be a dope-ass series? Don't you think more of the older anime watchers that actually like Shonen AIs other than me will watch it? If you don't, you're stupid. I'm just saying, like, that's my opinion. You know, whatever the fucking saying goes, like, oh, I don't know. I don't like using sayings, so it's just my own saying that I made up. So... Basically, what I'm saying is, it's my opinion. If you don't like it, I don't give a fuck. I like it. I think it'll be dope. But that's Pokemon, you know? Everybody grew up with Pokemon. Everybody loves that shit. And let me tell you about another thing. I'm tired of people coming like they never watched anime a day in their fucking life. You cannot be a black child or a white child or an, of any race or ethnicity and say you never watched DBZ. I have kids trying to tell me that right now. Yo, bro, I never watched DBZ. You're going to sit here and lie in my face and act like on Saturday mornings you never sat in your deductinus and watched Dragon Ball Z in the front of the TV with no cereal because your parents can not afford it? You're going to try to tell me that? That is bullshit. I know you're lying from the jump. You're going to try to tell me you never played fucking Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, and you never watched Digimon? They all evolved with monsters, okay? All evolved monsters. Did you not get that? You can't be a boy and say you never watched Dragon Ball Z. Every boy tried to turn Super Saiyan once as a kid. Shit, I'm still trying. Nah, I'm still trying. I'm not still trying. But like, on a real, like, why lie? Why must people lie? That's how I'm going to end this episode. Why lie? Don't sit there and lie. You know you watched it. Why lie? Okay? You don't sit there and try to tell me, oh, I never watched anime. Oh, yeah. And for ladies, too. My Little Pony. Fucking anime. Out of nowhere, they're fighting mystical monsters now. Their animation inside of the U.S., so that can basically be called an anime. So I saw more in this episode. Why must people lie? I talked about a lot of dope ass shit in this. So anime bullshit number three. Be expecting more. How to kill the black thing? Give me that favorite, like, subscribe, and you know the comment, right? All right, I'm out of here.